somebody's head about the bed. Bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner. What the hell is that? It's a turkey. Bring in the turkey. You know why people in this country get fat? Thanksgiving. A big, fat turkey. It ain't cool being no jive turkey. So close to Thanksgiving. Quick, go and set your turkey free. This is a birdie. Bird, 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 bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Yes, it is. It's the weekend. The turkeys do not look forward to. But we do for um, for our dinner tables on the weekend. And, of course, every year, I, you know, some people complain, oh, it's the same thing. Could we come up with something different? Well, let's find out from the lady who comes up with uh, recipe ideas that are different from every one of our holidays. Cooking with Kimberly's Kimberly Turner. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Kim. How are you? All right. Do you Are you a traditionalist? You know, I, my mom is more of a traditionalist than me. I'll, I'll mix things up, but she kind of likes things, you know, traditional. <laughs> yeah, so that means the, the, the turkey and the cranberries and all that kind of stuff? Yes, pretty much. Um, you know, she she does some interesting things, especially for dessert, but she likes that turkey the same and, you know, her traditional bread stuffing and the usual sides and things like that. But she's not upset about me cooking. <laughs> well, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a guy's suit, right? They all look exactly the same all the time, but you can tart it up a little bit with with a tie, a different That's color, right. and that that would be to the dessert, right? That's right, and some cool socks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> The socks aren't all that appetizing. But anyway, let's talk about Thanksgiving um, recipes and uh, your your particular ideas for this weekend. All right. Well, you know, I think that Thanksgiving can be really stressful for people. So I do have some really easy things, and I have a little bit more, you know, advanced things or uh, cool ideas. And this Thanksgiving is really... Um, uh, based upon what I have in my garden right now, I've got really, I did a really good job this year with my garden, so I'm kind of um, ex- excited about it. I'm kind of inspired by it. Um, today we're going to do a pumpkin soup for an appetizer, and this is especially if you're not going to do a pumpkin pie, if you're going to do some other kind of interesting desserts. Do a pumpkin soup. It's so easy, and you can even serve it in a pumpkin. So it looks really nice and festive, it's really impressive, and it's, it's minimal work. So, uh, or you can just go ahead and put some, you know, um, a veggie tray out. You can put some chips and, you know, the usual snacky things. But everyone's really looking at dinner. Um, if you want to just pick up some tapenade and some garlic dip or cherry tomatoes, all of tapenade, uh, Lincoln Country Kitchen does a beautiful job, and that's so easy. Just pick it up, throw it out there, put some crackers and veggies. So appetizer's done. Okay. Cool? Yep, done. Okay. Let's talk about the mains. I'm doing some really interesting things with the mains this year. I'm doing a chili and pineapple duck. Instead of a turkey. A chili and pineapple duck? Yes. So instead of doing like the t- the traditional orangey flavored ducks, yep. I'm going to do pineapple. I'm going to put a nice pineapple glaze on it at the end and make it just a little bit spicy. So you have that tang because duck tends to be kind of high in like greasy fat. Right. <laughs> So you're going to cut that with some pineapple and maybe even some citrus. So you could even decorate it like you would a traditional ham with the pineapples and the maraschino cherries, just for something different. Okay. And then I thought maybe an apricot honey ham. We've done a lot of jams this summer, so I'm just going to bring out my preserves. I'm going to use apricot, or you can just do easy. Here's an easy recipe, just maple syrup at the end of the ham. Just cook the ham normally, as the instructions say, on package, or follow one of my recipes, and then just glaze it with some my maple syrup. No one is upset with that. Maple syrup on anything works. Anything, right? Exactly. Um, I you could do a leg of lamb. Some people don't do turkey, uh, so you could do like a Bordeaux cherry balsamic leg of lamb. That's really beautiful. It's a great recipe on um, all of my platforms. Uh, you could do a roast beef turkey. You know why I'm saying everything except turkey? Because I saw a turkey off Beaver Dam's Road the other day yeah. in the field, and I was like, aw. Once you name them, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, it is tough. But if you want to do a turkey, how about Merlot barbecue turkey drumsticks? Ooh. Especially for those people who aren't inviting a whole bunch of people over. It's just maybe you and your, your hubby or your wife or your partner. Okay. And, you know, that's just easy. Or grab a, a just a turkey breast and do it that way. That's kind of Stress, you know? Excellent. Yes, a lot less stress. Yeah. So, okay, sides. Let's talk about sides. I just put up a really great bread stuffing with vegetables and cranberries. That's very traditional. You're going to like it. Mom's going to be happy with that, too. Uh, there's a nice green bean casserole. I've got green beans all over the place in my garden. So use that. You can even do it creamy if you want to. Uh, Brussels sprouts are in season right now. You can put that with chestnuts, maybe some pecans or cashews. Mix it up. Um, cranberry glazed cubed potatoes. 
So roast up the sweet potatoes, and then just at the end, like you would do your ham, just glaze it with a beautiful cranberry sauce or, or reduced cranberry, and that's really tasty too because sweet potatoes are nice and sweet, and that cranberry gives a nice tang. Then you could do collard greens. I've got a million greens outside, so we can do creamy collard greens, uh, maybe a roasted squash stuffed with cornbread dressing. That mm-hmm. way you can kind of double up with the dressing and your side. Okay. Or a carrot souffle is really interesting and fun to bring to the table. You know, you're teasing me because I'm <laughs> I'm waiting for the next uh, for the next course. Yes, and you know what? You know what? Let's talk about beverages really, really fast. How about just doing a mulled apple cider for everybody? Kids can drink it. The adults can drink it. You can spike it if you want for the adults. You can float cranberries or spices or citrus or whatever. So easy peasy. Um, maybe for the adults, you could do instead of uh, instead of a pumpkin ale, why don't you get one of those apple cider ales or an apple beer? Those are very, very nice. And then maybe for dessert, do a pumpkin spice latte for people that maybe don't want to have a huge dessert. Very good. So now, you yes, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here it is. Da, 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 da. I'm, laughing. I'm laughing with mom because I'm doing my list, and I see that I have, like, ten desserts and, like, three of the other things. Yes. <laughs> Good on you. Yes. So I published my key lime pie, and this is one of my very favorite things, especially for Thanksgiving. A beautiful graham cracker crust, basic whipped cream. You're going to love it. Try it if you've never done it. You don't even have to use key limes. You could use regular limes as well. Okay. Or you can do chocolate souffles. <laughs> you can do a pumpkin chiffon pie. You could make some dolce de leche for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, how about caramel drizzled cream puffs with filled with whipped cream? Doesn't that sound good? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, you had me at key lime pie. So, <laughs> okay. How about for the less stress? Maybe you made a pumpkin pie and it kind of didn't turn out, and you're not very proud to bring it to the table. That's okay. Switch gears. Make a quick pumpkin pie parfait. Break say- it up. Disassemble it. Throw some cream on it. No one will be the wiser, and everyone will be really happy with that yeah. nonetheless. You've been at my house, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> Pear or apples, and that's what I've been harvesting too. Pears and apples and, um, and pistachio crisp. Really easy and, you know, a lot less stress than having to do pastry and all that stuff. Don't stress. Kim, Kim where can we find all of these recipes? <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and I have a channel on Roku. It's Cooking with Kimberly. And go to my website at Cooking with Kimberly.com. So nowhere. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Th- thanks, Kim. Have a great Thanksgiving, Tim. Thanks you for you having me. Cooking with-